Jerry of the circus. Or Jerry of the circus. Jerry, why did you watch them line up? They'll be off in a second now. I know, but I'm getting this package from under the seat. I want to have it handy. Oh, isn't that a shame? Well, what, Patsy? Well, the horses were all lined up perfectly and just about ready to go when number one, Tony M., broke out of his stall. Looks like all of them are ready to go. They're sure acting wild. Now Blaze is holding still. Oh, I wish they'd hurry and get in line. I I'm getting terribly excited. Blaze sure is holding still now. Doesn't he look pretty, though? Oh, you bet he does. But you know, Jerry, while you were gone, I mean, while you were out in the paddock with Tom, that man down there in the second row in front of us made some remarks he thought were funny. What did he say, Patsy? Well, and he most likely heard what you told me about Blaze running so fast when he heard the bells of the fire department. <laughs> he thought it was quite a joke. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't. Naturally, Blaze would run when he heard the fire bells. He was with the fire department long enough. Oh, that's just training. He can't forget it. Oh, look, Jerry, they're all lined up now. Yeah, and standing still, too. Boy, I'd call that a perfect lineup. They're off! There they go! It's Blaze out in front. Morning Sun second by a head. Silver Streak third and flash away. Look at, look at Blaze go. He's ahead. Oh, we see that, Blaze. Starting into the turn, it's Blaze out in front by half a length. Morning Sun second by a length. Then Silver Streak is coming fast on the outside. Blaze is waiting, Jerry. Come on, Blaze. Come on. Boy, I sure hope he doesn't get tired now. He's got a nice lead. At the lead. far end of the turn, it's still Blaze in the lead. Morning Sun second. Silver Streak is coming fast, and it's Silver Streak now in second position. Morning Sun third, and Flash Away is fourth, ahead of Tony M and Little Star. Oh, Jerry, why doesn't he go faster? Faster, Blaze, faster! It sure looks like Silver Streak is gaining on him. Come on, Blaze, Turning into the back Tom. stretch, it's Blaze and Silver Streak neck and neck. Silver Streak is forcing Blaze over to the rail. Here comes Flash Away overtaking Morning Sun. It's Silver Streak in the lead now, with Blaze running second by a head. Flashaway is third, Morning Sun fourth in front of our Gene, who's now in fifth position. Ah, oh, Patsy, he couldn't hold the lead. Silver Streak is ahead of him now. Get up there, Blaze. Come on, Blaze. In the back stretch, it's Silver Streak in front, and here comes Flashaway overtaking Blaze. It's Silver Streak, Flashaway second, and Blaze is now third, Morning Sun fourth. Oh, Jerry, I guess he just couldn't do it. Come on, Blaze. Ride him, Tom. Come on. Come on, Blaze. Ah, oh, gee, Patsy, if you only had a little more speed. Going into the far turn, it's Silver Streak in front, flash away second, Blaze is running third, and here comes our Gene overtaking Morning Sun. Our Gene is driving hard and passing Blaze to go into third position. Ah, oh, Jiminy, now look, Blaze is fourth. Tom is surely trying. Oh, we can only get him up there. Rounding the far turn, it's now flash away out in front. Silver Streak is losing ground fast. Here comes our Gene. It's Flash Away in front. Our Gene is second. And here comes Tony M. It's Flash Away, our Gene second, and Tony M third in front of Blaze, who's now in fourth position. Silver Streak and Morning Sun are both dropping back. Jerry, what are you doing? I'm opening this package. I guess I'll have to use it after all. What on earth are you talking about? Well, well, well what's the fire bell, Jerry? You bet it isn't. I hope Blaze can hear it. Excuse me, Patsy. I'm going right down front next to the railing. Jerry, stop. You can't go down there. Oh, yes, I can. They're coming down the stretch. Tony M is third and Chum is fourth. Blaze is now fifth and Little Star is sixth. Hey, kid, you can't go down there by 
got a track. Get back. Not till I get through doing what I'm going to do. And here goes. Coming down the stretch now. It's going to be a driving finish. Flashaway is still out in front. Our Gene second by a head. Tony M is third. And here comes Blaze. Blaze seems to have new life. He's driving like mad. Blaze is passing Chum. He's gaining on Tony M. I don't know what's happened to that horse. He's closing very fast. He's now neck and neck with Tony M. And Blaze just passed Tony M. I don't know what's got into him, but Blaze is now passing our Gene. He did it. Blaze passed our Gene and is now second. Still driving like mad. They're now going down to the finish line. It's a driving finish, folks. It's going to be close. Blaze is closing very fast. He's head and head with Flashaway now. And that's the way they're going to cross the finish line. Just inches to go now. They're over. It looked to me like Blaze won, but it was very close. Yes, very close, folks. Uh-oh, the officials called for a photograph. It's a photograph finish. He did it, Fancy. Blaze won. Well, look that way, Jerry. He did it. Blaze won the race. But, but what are they calling a photograph finish for, Jerry? What does that mean? Well, you see, they take a picture of each race. I mean, just at the line of finish, so if it's a real close race. The judges can look at the picture and see which horse really won. Oh. But I know Blaze won it. Well, don't be too sure, Jerry. I hope you're right. But if it was sure, they wouldn't bother with the picture to find out. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. The photograph finish shows... It's gotta be ...the Blaze. winner of the race and the $1,000 prize, Blaze. <laughs> Blaze won the race by a nose, or I might say a whisker. Flashaway was second and our Gene third. Uh, uh, just a second, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes. Word has just been received up here in the broadcasting booth that Blaze, who is owned by Mr. Jack Rogers was written by Mr. Rogers' son, Tom Rogers. Oh, well, look, Jerry. They're taking pictures of Tom. And look at the flowers they're bringing out to put on Blaze. Oh, you're right. He, he just had to win, Patsy, and, well, he did. Come on, now, let's get back to the paddock and meet Tom when he comes back there. All right, let's go. Oh, I just can't wait to congratulate him. Well, Tom did a great job of writing. You bet he did. Of course, that, uh, that bell helped, too, you know. Well, now, don't say anything to Tom about that. That is, unless he says something first. Maybe he didn't hear it. <laughs> I don't see how he could help but hear it. He surely rang it loud enough. Well, it worked, didn't it? Yes, it did, Jerry. I'd never seen a horse run so fast. Well, well when Blaze heard that bell, he, he took off like he was a shot out of a cannon. Wait, Betsy, we go through here. Oh, all right. Yes, I could hardly keep track of him. He was going so fast. <laughs> the other horses almost looked like they were standing still. Say, Jerry, uh, how did you ever happen to think of the bell? Well, you see, when Blaze ran after that fire department yesterday, I got the idea. I figured if he ran that fast when he heard a fire bell, uh -huh. it might be a good idea to have one handy in case he was losing And Well, I was right. You surely were. It was very clever of you to think of it. But, Jerry, uh, if you don't want Tom to know about the bell, what are you taking it with you for? I never thought of that. Say, will you take it and carry it under your coat, Patsy? Surely that's a good idea. Give it here. Here it is. Now keep it covered up. But uh, what are you going to do with that bell, Jerry? Oh, I don't know. Give it to Bumps, I guess. He can put it in his prop box, and maybe someday he'll find some use for it. Oh, here come the junkies now, Jerry. You see them? Uh-huh. But where's Tom? Well, there's the boy that was riding Silver Streak. Uh, uh what'd you say his name was? Oh, that's Warren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at him. I'll bet he's sorry now that he turned down Mr. Rogers the last minute. Mm, he's mean, Jerry. Did you see the way he kept trying to run Blaze over the rail and crowd him? I sure did. But you see all that got him. I'll bet you Tom's a better rider than he is any day. Oh, here comes Tom now. Oh, uh, hiya, Tom. Hey, you did it. Hi. Jerry? Oh, what's the matter with you? You ought to be happy. Well, yeah, I know, but oh, I guess I am. I just can't believe it's true. Oh, it is true, Tom. And I want to tell you, you were wonderful the way you brought that horse in. Simply wonderful, Tom. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Well, where's your dad? Well, he's taking care of Blaze. Come on, let's walk over to the stable. All right, come on. I want to see that horse. Here's your lucky ring, Jerry, and well, thanks for letting me wear it. I guess it worked. Well, it's all over now, so... Well, be happy, Tom. Well, I am. I, I'm so happy I feel like crying. Well, why, Tom? Gee, it's wonderful, isn't it? Just think, Dad will get the thousand dollars now. You should be the happiest boy in the world. Tom, Tom. Here comes your dad now. Tom, my boy, I've got more good news for you. Hiya, Mr. Rogers. I told you Blaze would win. Yes, looks like you were right, Jerry. Well, what's the good news, Dad? I was just talking with Mr. Elston, and he wants to see you. He's going to give you a job, Tom. He wants you to ride for him. He told me he thought you were a wonderful jockey, and he wants you to work for him. Oh, Tom, isn't that grand? Um, I'm awfully proud of you. Oh, oh, Jerry. What's the matter? You better look at the time. You know, we've got to get back to the lot. Don't forget, we've got to get in that mess top before the flag goes down, and we expect to get our dinner. Hey, that's right, we do. Well, Tom, I guess we'll have to say goodbye now. We're leaving Fordham tonight, and, you know. Well, I sure...
sure hate to say goodbye to you, though. Jerry, I don't know how to thank you for being so good to my boy, but I do appreciate it. Oh, that was nothing. We had a lot of fun together. Well, I'll be down to the circus the minute it gets to town next year. Okay, Tom, I'll be looking for you. So long, Jerry, and thanks again. Good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Rogers. Goodbye, Jerry. See you next season. Goodbye, Patsy. Goodbye. Bye, Tom. Bye, Patsy. I sure hated to say goodbye to Tom. <laughs> he didn't like the idea of leaving you so much, either. Come on now, Jerry, we'll have to hurry. <laughs> Blame him any, Jerry. The way you neglected that dog of yours is a shame. Oh, well, I had to be out at the fair. I was working with the Rusoff troop, wasn't I? Yes, but poor Rags. He's missed you these last couple of days. <laughs> All right. All right, Rags. I, I won't go anymore. Oh, sir, Jerry. Oh, here comes Bumps, Jerry. Oh, hiya, Bumps. Oh, well, well, what happened? Who, who won the race? <laughs> Who do you think, Bums? Yeah, what's your guess? Oh, come on now. This is no guessing contest. Uh, tell me quick. I've been just dying to hear. Uh, did Blaze win? Uh-huh. By a nose. Well, good. Fine. Say, I'm awful glad to hear that. Uh, I'll bet Tom feels pretty grand. <laughs> I'll say he does, Bums. And so does Mr. Rogers. Well, now, isn't that great? Well, that's good news, Jerry. <laughs> all right, Rags. Nice going. <laughs> say, Rags has been looking all over the backyard for you, Jerry. He thought you deserted him. Say, if uh, you two will excuse me, I'm going to tidy up a bit before dinner. I'll um, see you both in the mess. All right, Patsy. <laughs> oh, 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 the flag's up already. <laughs> you hungry? <laughs> Boy, I'll say I am. Well, come on, then. Let's walk over. Come on, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, say, uh, Jerry. Yeah? Uh, did you happen to take in the sideshow out at the fairgrounds? No. Why? Well, uh, <clears throat> there's a fella out there, a strong man named Belko. And Mr. Randall just took him on to take the bearded lady's place with our sideshow. Really, Bumps? Mm-hmm. He's going to open tonight. I uh, hear he does a very clever act. Say, uh, I'd like to see it, wouldn't you? Yep. Yeah, I would. What do you say if we get over there at the midway after we have our supper and kind of take it in? Okay. Uh, say, what kind of an act does he do? Well, uh, I don't know exactly, but I guess he does the usual weight lifting and things like that. Uh, However, I did hear that he's different than any other strong man. Well, at any rate, it'll be well worth while seeing. <laughs> 